All right. Here's the truck, all done. Done with the flatbed and everything there. Now I'm gonna be working on building the bed sides. This is hopefully gonna be pretty cool. Uh, this is, so right now I need to add bed sides and some sort of a tailgate. I really like having it as a flatbed. You can carry plywood, no problem. It's a seven foot bed, so there's only a foot overhang on a four by eight sheet. But if I wanna carry anything smaller or whatever else, we have regular cab limiting how much space I have and I can't really carry anything without strapping it down. So I got like a cargo net that holds stuff down, but that only helps so much. So I wanna build aluminum bed sides and I have a bunch of scrap parts laying around. And yeah, so the main thing that I'm gonna be doing right now is cutting this plywood and I'm gonna be routing out letters to make it look like the old school, flip around, I have this old school Toyota tailgate, long bed SR5 that came off of, I believe, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that was like a 79 or 80. Uh, got that in the junkyard. That's gonna be another project in itself. I'm gonna make that into a porch uh, bench. So that's gonna be kind of a rocking porch bench is the idea. So. That'll be in a future video for sure, but for now I'm copying the letters on that, just tracing them so I get the font dead on to the original. I probably could have done this online and pulled up the logo and copied it and printed it out and that might have been easier, but I feel like this wasn't bad tracing it out and charting them out. So you'll see that in the video, but basically traced all the letters, cut them out, and then those are gonna get transferred onto a new tailgate for the wide boy. So I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. Hopefully it turns out pretty cool, but I really like these old tailgates with the punched lettering. So I'm trying to emulate that with this, but everything's gonna be made out of aluminum. So keep the rust off of it, but I have the Datsun trailer that has the punched lettering too. I've just always liked the look of it. So we'll see if it works with aluminum. I have these scrap bed panels from a van. And those are going to become bed sides for the two sides. And then front panel, I'm going to have to fab from scratch, I think. See if I have any other scrap laying around. Otherwise, rear, it's about 78 inches wide. It's pretty wide. So it's almost as wide as it is long. But it should be fun. It's going to be a little bit shorter than a factory tailgate. It's only going to be about 10 and a half inches tall. That's what these panels are and that keeps it at a good level because the flat bed is actually a little bit higher than the regular bed. So here we go. Basically putting a flash sheet on here, 
slightly oversized, screwing within this top inch and bottom inch here, screwing the sheet metal down and then hammering it in so hopefully it doesn't stretch it into it from the edge, rather stretching the metal in the middle. So that's the plan, we'll see if it works. Right here, basically I'm going to space out the lettering, get it all drawn out, and route, say about three eighths of an inch into, quarter inch maybe, into this wood, the lettering, as the negative of the lettering. So then I'll have to cut out positives of the lettering and then I can hammer those in. That's kind of like a guy in the box setup. So we'll see if this works. Uh, it's going to be a little bit interesting getting everything lined up so I can actually get the lettering hammered in evenly and straight and everything like that. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So I have this. I'm going to measure everything out. Uh, some straight lines, get everything measured. Put my lettering on here, trace it in, and then start routing. So I want to widen out the lettering a little bit from the factory old Toyota tailgate, just because I'm about 15 inches wider on the truck than I am on this tailgate. So I think I'm gonna add basically maybe an inch and a half between each letter, to space it out a bit more. It won't be as wide as the truck, but I don't wanna have like kerning that's way off and have huge kerning. So, that's, that's where we're headed with it. I'm gonna draw out some lines on here and get going. Okay, here's where we're at. So, cut out these with the jigsaw and just sanded them up. It's all three quarter ply, so I'm gonna hammer on these basically. Hopefully they hold up. So, basically I left a little bit of slop all the way around about, I don't know, an eighth inch. And that's so that there's somewhere for the metal to move basically. If they were the same size, it wouldn't work wouldn't actually do anything. So hopefully an eighth inch is enough. I did a little demo piece, but this was like 3000 series aluminum and it worked. Um, that was with a piece that didn't quite have enough slop, but 3000 is really soft. So hopefully the 5000, I think I'm using 5032. Hopefully the 5032 is uh, soft enough that this actually works. If it isn't, and I may have to go back and uh, loosen up the tolerance some more and sand those and try again. So what I'm gonna do is put holes through 
the letters, also the, the positive and the negative of the letters, basically locating holes to keep this dead center in its space. And then I will also have locating holes for the screws that are gonna go into the aluminum at the top and bottom here. Those are gonna go all the way through. And then what I can do is basically put the aluminum behind this piece, mark those holes through just with a Sharpie. And then when I put the aluminum on top of this board, I can just set this and line up the holes in this with the marks on the aluminum. And that's the best way I have thought of uh, keeping the location of these into the aluminum. And that way I can know right where I need to hammer and just hold it there as I hammer in the letters. So that's the plan. Let's see if it works. Sneak peek, just got the tailgate, tailgate, more or less built. It's basically just gonna latch onto the bed sides since I don't have posts for this and I don't want it to actually have hinges. I want it to be easy and quick to remove. So I'm pretty stoked with how it turned out. The lettering turned out actually really good. It's not as crisp of an edge as the old school one, but I think that's should be expected using wood rather than I'm sure metal dies that they had, but it's pretty bubbly and it still has the, the look of it. So I think it looks sweet. So I'm gonna start working on the bedsides now, but that's basically, Basically it, thing is rad. <laughs> 